Welcome to another edition of the Coach Godwin Show. I'm your host, Coach Karan Godwin, all-time leading scorer for the University of North Florida. Also author of that book that every basketball player must read. Uh, everyone hates a ball hog, but they all love to score. The complete guide to scoring points on and off the basketball court. Uh, of course, available at jumpstarthoops.com. Uh, today, we have a great show lined up for you. I know I get tons of emails all over the world, and I, I just can't get to everyone's email. But uh, I do want to provide uh, some insight into some of the moves that you should be working on. Um, my basketball training background just, just leads me to always find new ways of scoring the ball and, and teaching kids how to score the ball. So today we're going to discuss the Euro step, um, which some people call the two step, but the Euro step. And uh, the Euro step has become popular as of late um, because of the international players, guys like Steve Nash and Manu Ginobili and, uh, you know, guys like Parker. These guys have come over here and they've kind of brought a new flavor into the league and it's based off footwork and timing. You know, when you mix that with athleticism, especially some of the athletes we have around the league, uh, you get guys like Dwayne Wade, who is effectively using this move as well. Um, he calls it the two-step, but, um, you know, people like to call it the Euro step. So either way, it's a great move we're going to talk about today. Why, when, and how? Okay, why? Well, it's an effective move because it allows you to penetrate and um, avoid charges. As you know, most of the defenses in high school, college, or even in, in the NBA, they are all designed to push you in a certain direction and um, preferably for a charge so someone can rotate. Um, defense is all about communication and, and rotation. And um, you want to push people either to the baseline to the middle uh, depend on your defensive um, of scheme, and you want, and you want people to rotate and be able to be in position for that charge. So Euro step is a great move. It also keeps the defense off balance. Um, it's very, very hard to go ahead and try to time this layup, uh, just because of the the intricacy of the move, and you being able to step one way and then go a total different way. Um, it's very hard. To t it's very hard to time and um, it keeps you off balance. So you can also attract and draw more fouls. It also displays knowledge of the game. Um, it's one of those moves that you have to work on. And if you don't do it right, you're gonna look out of control. I'll tell you that right now. And, um, but once you learn it, you know, if a guy's scouting you from college or, or even in the NBA when they're scouting each other, you know, it's something that they have to put in the scouting report saying this guy has a great Euro step. So when you come over to rotate, you have to make sure you're in position or he's just going to step around you. Um, when should you perform this uh, move? I would say, um, number one, you have to have separation from your initial defender. So if someone's guarding you and you get past the guy, you're totally past them, and now someone's coming to rotate, well, this is your opportune time to go ahead and perform uh, this Euro step. Now get around that defender and, and finish. Um, a lot of times, in transition, it's also good as well because, um, you know, there's no defender on you. You're coming down in transition and guys are, you know, scrambling, trying to figure out who to guard. And, and then uh, someone eventually has to stop the ball. And uh, if you, you can get in that pain area and someone's trying to stop you late, it's, a, it's just a great time to go ahead and use that Euro step. Um, how to perform it. it. This is something that you have to pay uh, close attention to because um, I see a lot of kids trying to do it because they watch, you know, the ESPN moves and see guys on TV do it. But there's an order to it. Um, it it's a two-step process. It involves, number one, your lead step, and that's followed by what I call an adjustment step. So the lead step requires that you are in control of your body speed. Um, in my book, Everyone Hates the Ball Hog, I, I detail um, my speed theory, you know, and, and, and how to actually control your body, how to be quick, but not necessarily in a rush. And um, it's very, very important because the people that use this move the best, you know, the Dwayne Wade, Ginobili, Nash, Rondo, um, Parkers, um, you, the list just goes on and on nowadays. They're always in control of the body and they're never at their top speed. Because just like driving a car, the faster you go, the less control you have over that vehicle, or in this case, over your body. All right, so that lead step is very, very important that you know you can get you can burst by a guy, you can get under control again, so bring it down a notch, and be able to plant that lead step. Now the second step 
or adjustment step, as I call it. Um, it, re it requires a little bit of insight into the game and you knowing on the fly who it is that's coming to rotate. For instance, if it's a bigger defender, obviously, you know, a lot of times they're slow foot. So that second adjustment step can be a quick step in the opposite direction. But if it's a faster guard who's quick and um, he knows what you're trying to do, well, it's going to be hard to do it quick. You know, you have to slow it down a bit because what you're, what you're trying to do is angle your body by first planning your lead step and then your second adjustment step, you're angling it towards his outside shoulder. So either you're going to go around him, but if he's quick, it's hard to do that. You're going to draw the foul because now he's not in position and you're hitting that right shoulder or that, that outside shoulder and you're able to finish. Um, after a while, you know, when you perform this move, it'll just come second nature. Um, guys in the NBA, they do it all the time. So it's something that they actually practice now. And, and I even have my, my guys um, practice this move. So Eurostep is, is a very, very good move. Uh, make sure you know why, when, and how. Um, it's, it's, it's very effective. Um, you want to avo avoid charges. You want to attract fouls. You want to keep the defense off balance. Uh, you want to know when to perform it. You want to know how to get that separation so you can. Uh, you can also perform it in transition and also how to perform it. And it's a two-step process. You got your lead step and your adjustment step. So go ahead and work on this move. Uh, have any questions for me, it's Coach Godwin at jumpstart33.com. That's Coach Godwin at jumpstart33.com. Uh, until next time, God first, God speed. Log on to the site, jumpstarthoops.com. Make sure you hear the rest of the podcast, get caught up, and um, good luck out there. See you later.